Hello wonderful people, welcome to yet another exciting episode of my untold story where you get to hear stories of people who have struggled through this life process and as somebody's now, I mean, whatever they went through, they didn't put them down, it didn't kill them, but they are survivors and they are our heroes, our heroes we look up to. I have a wonderful person with me today, see I can't even talk properly, but I'll try. After the break, I'll introduce this wonderful person, so we'll go for a quick break, we'll be back shortly. Thank you so much for staying with us. This is my untold story on LATV. My name is Abigail Annie Abbey, and I'm your host. Yes, your only host for the show. I have my wonderful guest. He is, he's a, I don't even know how to put, I don't know the best words to put together. To, I'm actually honored. I'm honored to be with him today. I'm honored, but you're also honored watching us. You're also going to tap into this blessing. I'm with my own father, my father, Apostle Dr. Abraham Lamte. And he is our guest for today's episode of My Untold Story. Daddy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you're welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you too for having us. Yeah. Okay, so um, can we start from your growing up process, how it all started? All right, I want to say hello to your viewers. Okay. And uh, I thank God for keeping us alive to a date. My name is Abraham Lamte. That is the name you know now. But I have been Ibrahim Odate. I have been Eric Odate. And now Abraham Lamte. So it's a progress, a transition from Eric Odate, then to Ibrahim Odate, then to Abraham Lamte. In fact, it started Ibrahim Odate, okay. then became Eric Odate, then go, went back to Ibrahim, Ibrahim Odate, Ibrahim. then finally Abraham Ibrahim. Lamte, which is not changing again. So can you take so us through the transition process? Let me process. take you through this transition. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they met, but I have the results of their meeting. Okay. Late uh, W. O. Al Haji Mohammed Andrews famous Odati. Mm -hmm. And uh, still alive until now, Madame Grace Alodi. Uh, they met some 58 years ago. As to what transpired, I don't know. <laughs> but my being here this is, a is the revelation of yeah. the secret that took place between their meeting. And uh, interestingly, it wasn't a nice experience because my father then had a wife and other children. Okay. My mother also had five already. Wow. So on my father's side, I am the eldest son, my mother's side, I am no, the last, last one. Yeah. So father did not accept responsibility of the pregnancy. Mother had to carry it through with the help of her elder sister, Auntie Maggie of blessed memory. I call her Athene, you know. And I was not out after the 10th month. I was not out the 11th month. Watch, I in You know, my mother says I came out, I think, the second week of the 12th month. That's the best time because it's October and yeah. the month. And it happens to be October. Yes. 25th. Special Tuesday. Tuesday. So I was born and. Uh, the circumstances surrounding my birth was quite funny. By then, my mom was living at Russia. And 57 years ago, you can imagine how mm -hmm. Russia looks like. And they were close to the huge gutter. So when she felt the labor uh, pain mm -hmm. and what have you, she decided to run to Osha Clinic. Okay. Unfortunately, just before she would step on the wood that crosses the bridge, that's how I dropped. Whoa. So I nearly fell into the gutter. Okay. Then she had to 
Bobomi, you know, about Lomine Buana, to <laughs> the clinic before I was, you know. So it took, I think I was three months before my father came to check whether the baby was truly his. Mm. And according to my late auntie, when my father saw me, he said, no, this cannot be his child. Oh. I didn't understand him then, but I do now. Because as at that time, he had two sons. Mm. And he saw them as babies. None of them looked as beautiful as the one he was seeing. <laughs> So he didn't believe mm -hmm. such a beautiful baby can come from him. from him. Sometimes rejection is not because we didn't deserve it, but because it looks too good to belong to us. Yeah. So that was how I started life being rejected by a very tree that is right. named after me. Because the mango tree is named after the mango. The mango, yeah. So... I think I was between the ages of three and four when my late auntie also took over. But I started my schooling at Akotolante. You know, Akotolante, where the Blofo Katecho again, no, no. There used to be Ateko. So we used to call it Ateko. A crash, no, 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 and then my mom got married to Mr. Duodu. So we came to live at La. La Be, Wobe. Los Angeles. Yeah, LA. LA. We came to live at La, <laughs> above. And then I started at Adiemra, where you call nativity. nativity. I started schooling at Adiemra. So I was at Adiemra, then my mom's marriage went off. And she moved to... Uh, live in Jamestown, okay. Afina. So I had to go stay again with my auntie oh. to further my education at Apenkwa Presby. I hope you are recording the CV. Yeah, trying to. To Apenkwa Presby. And uh, so I got to Apenkwa Presby in class four and I was there to elementary form one. So from class four, class five, class six, and then form one. Then my mom got married again. Okay. So I had to go join her. Mm -hmm. She got married to Mr. Uh, so that will let you know why they changed from Ibrahim Change. to Eric. So, Eric, Eric to so, so Mr. Dodo is a Christian. So the Eric came. No, okay, no. But until then it was Ibrahim. Okay. So my mom got married to uh, a Muslim who happened to be Mr. Kwati okay. of blessed memory. I was an, a Muslim, so it was Ibrahim Kwati. So I went there to stay with them. So I had to leave Abengwa Presby to Choco Boys. Oh. And then Choco Boys, personally, I realized that if I stayed there, I wouldn't do well. So I told my mom to change the school, and I had to go to Ebenezer 5 and 6. Mm. So I left Choco Boys. From Form 1 to Form 2, I was in Choco Boys. And I left when I was going to Form 3. Mm -hmm. So I went to Ebenezer 5 and 6, Form 3, and Form 4. So I'm a proper product of the proper <laughs> educational structure. The cycle. That, that yeah. has that made Ghana better until you people, Jason, and saw people came <laughs> and you have messed the nation. The JHS and the JSS. So from Choco Boys to Ebenezer 5 and 6, and all these while, it wasn't like just go to school and come. I had my experience with selling head scarf. Oh, wow. I had my experience with selling to bear what the Nigerians call puff puff. I don't look like money to little better. <laughs> selling to bear. I had my experience with selling trophy. And that was the most interesting part of my life when I would have to wake up early morning and uh, run to the kneading machine, have the flour prepared, come, get it done, and go to school. By the time I'll be back from school to Bayfu, mm -hmm. Abashi, 
and I am the first to carry, to go sell. And I look so cute, so people love to buy it mm. from me. Exactly, when you're trying to buy something from someone who's um, like yeah. looking so good. Oh, but for you have many demons, come out, break, lose, eh? You know, you know, you're a fine boy. But Papa, you're still a fine man. Oh, she be an a demon, say, come on, you know. Then they buy her, you know, but that's just by the way, you know. So, I had my experience with headscarf, which one day I got beaten at the then Ambassador Hotel. The man just said his boss wanted to buy all, so I should follow him. We entered the lift, and then he just took everything, gave me a beating, opened it, oh. and pushed me out. Only for me to come home, for my mother to also beat me on top. That was the mothers we had then. Mm -hmm. You know, so from the headscarf, then we got to the bullfrog, and then the bullfrog was added. The, she added wachi. Okay. The wagbene in kawachi bamala. Then you can cash in share buyer. Oh, wow. You understand? Can can watch him alone. They can cash in share the chonier. They can have what cash in share. Those of you who don't understand Ga, if you are watching and you live in Accra, sorry, learn to speak Ga. <laughs> okay, watch him alone. My mom is there, mm -hmm. so she will help put oh, it okay. on fire. They can have what cash in share. So when I come, then Mashi watch it. She to to bath and everything. Then I go to school. But before I go to school, the watcher will be ready. So I'll be the one to carry it to cruises at my property. There's a place they call cruises. And that is, uh, there's a place called Emando Video Center. We, I'll carry it there and I'll wait till my mother comes. So I will begin selling before she comes. Those were the days I had an opening at the hemming of my school uniform. And then I'll pile the coins inside round it's like my family went to the car for you you know i'll pile the coins there like mm -hmm. that and then i i when my mom comes i'll go to school by the time i'll come back from school the both fruit is ready. It's ready i think that is why when i was living in manprobi as a grown man with a wife and kids i still would never board a vehicle if i am not crossing the Kole lagoon because i was still staying at agege and oh no, because I was selling the poor fruits, I would walk oh. hard to those places. So you're used to I didn't see it as a place I should buy a vehicle. You were if any, I can't take a call. I'm not I will walk to the place, you know. And I think those experiences were better. If you work hard to break through, don't pamper your children. Your success will collapse. If you work hard to break through, don't pamper your children, your success will collapse. That's right. We are still on my own told story and we are hearing for the first time, I mean, I'm sure you haven't heard his story and Apostle Dr. Abraham Lamze is sharing his story with us. We are just halfway through, we are not even halfway through, we are just in the first quarter of the whole thing. We'll go for a quick break. When we come back, he's going to continue sharing the rest of the story. Thank you so much for staying with us. This is my untold story, and my wonderful guest for today is Honorable. Let me add Honorable to you. Honorable Apostle Dr. Abraham Lamte, and he's sharing his story with us. If you just tuned it, please follow the story.